I'm sure most of you have heard the expression, go big or go home. Well, I'm already home, but I'm going big anyway. Stick around and I'll show you what I mean. This is the Frugal Gardener and I am back in the garden. It is a few days before spring and I have been busier than usual. Every year I start planting my garden for things that I've purchased in the late winter or early spring. And this year, I would say is no exception, but there is a, a major difference. This year, I'm going big. I have made several purchases that are going to carry me through for years to come. I decided to focus on plants and shrubs and bushes that are going to come back year after year after year. And I did make quite an investment. This guy here is an exception. This was given to me by my neighbor and good friend, Miss Nancy, across the street. These are strawberries. But if you look over this way, and the wind is taking this away, this is the first decent day I've had in a while. These are two types of strawberries. I actually have four types total. These are in the center, the asparagus, and look at how well the grapes are doing. These are uh, seedless grapes, and these are table grapes. Back here are goju berries. Now, here's the thing, everything that I'm showing you, I brought within the last month or so. Now, together, uh, I probably spent about $200. And before you message me or email or comment and say, who has $200 to spend on their garden? I'm not saying you have to do this all at once. I'm not saying that you have to do it at all, but this is actually, believe it or not, frugal because, well, let's take uh, these blueberries here. This blueberry plant, there are, I have a couple. This one here, this is one here. These haven't really taken off yet, but blueberry plants can last 30, 40, 50 years. Imagine how many gallons, just gallons, of blueberries you can get off of these two plants in the course of, say, 10 years. It's going to more than pay for what I paid for all these plants combined. This is a Chinese chestnut tree. This tree I did not get from Sam's. I think I paid about 12 bucks for this. I'm not exactly sure, but it wasn't that expensive. The point I'm trying to make is that with inflation and just the way, price, uh, the way prices have been going up, I'm, I've, I've been around long enough to remember when you can get a loaf of bread for like 30 cents or a gallon of gas for 50 cents. Those prices are never coming back and neither are these. This is the pecan tree. This will go, this will last. I'll be dead and gone, and this will still be giving me pecans or whoever <laughs> ends up with this tree. My son, my daughter, whoever. Sassafras trees, these were, pardon the pun, dirt cheap. And um, of course, these are going to have to be transferred over. Grapevines have been known to last 20, 30 years or more. So, again, you get the picture. Get two of these for eighteen dollars. Two of these for eighteen dollars. These were all two for us at Sam's. And asparagus, although not a tree and not a bush, there's 24 plants in there, and these come back year after year, also, just like the strawberries. Also, not to be forgotten, these goju berries in the back. So you get the picture you get where I'm going that this is more of an investment 
I've talked in a previous video about food shortages and supply chain shortages and that sort of thing. I also did a video called Future Food. All of these are what I consider future food. These are foods that you plant now and they come back year after year after year. So regardless of what your financial situation is, regardless of what the food supply chain is, you will have something to fall back on, something to rely on. And it's better to make the investment now than to wait until there is a crisis and then everybody scrambles all at once. I remember you couldn't buy flour, you couldn't buy uh, sugar. There's a lot of things you couldn't find on the shelves. And um, people were freaking out. But if you just buy one or two of these now, you just buy a couple of blueberry bushes, if you just buy uh, uh, one of these small trees, this pecan tree cost me less than 20 bucks. You might not like pecans, but there are plenty of things that you can buy, plenty of bushes and shrubs and trees and vegetables that you guys can buy now, plant them, and year after year, they will come back. So my investment was about 200 bucks. Say yours is 18 and you just buy two of these or was it 36 and you buy grapes and uh, asparagus and just build on it every year just add one or two more items and before you know it you'll have yourself a future forest garden that you can lean back on or if you just want to go out and get something to snack on it'll be there for you so that's my short video for today. I try not to keep you guys. As I mentioned before, I have a huge announcement coming up. It's getting close. I'm not going to say what it is today, but if you subscribe, you will know. Well, if you subscribe and hit the bell, you will know when everybody else knows what it is. And I think that well i know i am excited about it and i hope you will be too this is the frugal gardener and remember when you grow your own food you'll always know where it comes from let me get back to getting this stuff out of these bags and getting it into the soil and i'll catch you guys on the next video